you're a strength conditioning guy, certified. You got a boy coming. When and how do you start him? Um, he sees me lift every day, man. You know, we during the whole quarantine time, I was fortunate enough to borrow equipment from our weight room and uh, set it up in my garage. And every night we go out there. I'm like, dude, you want to lift? No. All right. You don't have to lift. Hey, you want to lift tonight? Yeah, I'll come out there. And I'll lift with you. And he comes out there and he throws a med ball down a couple times and you know he overhead squats a couple times with PVC pipe. But then I'm bored. All right, we'll go in. You know, I'm not gonna force him. He's six, seven. He's seven now. So just if he sees it, he's gonna be interested in it, man. And that's basically if you wanted to do it, if you wanted to get into it, really get into it, I'd allow it. But so let's you know, say let's say um he let's say as he gets older now right and let's say he decides he's really into sports you know i don't know your boy at all maybe he is maybe he isn't but let's assume let's assume he's getting older he's really into athletics you can tell he really wants to be good mm -hmm. at what age and i just ask for all the dads out there moms even at what age does that change from hey whatever to let's go like, yeah, if your educated geez. answer to that, what what age is the right age? I mean, the second they the second they start getting serious about a sport, they need to be in the weight room. You know, if you're if little Johnny is a travel baseball player at six years old, he better be training. You know, because I think you're doing a disservice to the kid in the long haul. Know this, right? To me, I think it's six year old travel baseball playing that many games. You as young as he is and as fast he's going to regenerate and refresh and be ready to go the next day, you better start training him. You better start training him because it's going to be an injury. It's going to happen. The injury is going to happen if we push our kids too far, right? And just getting into moving. It's not, I'm not saying put a barbell on his back and make him squat and, and deadlift and clean and all that stuff at six years old, but you better start doing push-ups and pull-ups, you know, like that kid, I know he can do push-ups. Right? I know you can do a pull up and, and that's where we're going to start. And I think if you, if the kid is serious about a sport, he needs to train. And, and I think that's kind of a, a parent answer and a, a coach answer. I think if you're going to invest in it, if you're going to spend the couple thousand dollars to have him play, you know, you better, you better maximize it. Cause we know the weight room is going to help. We do. We know that's, that has been around for, a long time right so now we're fi finally figuring it out a little bit more um if you want to be really really good then you better put the effort into it so coach you talked about the uh, and i i just wrote down we sprint right so we sprint and, and you said that it's important to you guys i loved how you also uh incorporate not incorporate but it's important to you non-linear sprinting right because how many of our sports are non-linear sprinting a lot of them so right. Um, the question I, I, first of all, I love that hearing that, but the question I wrote down with that was how long each day, and, and I'm sure this, uh, there's probably a lot more of this than you can answer in a, in a one minute window, but, uh, as a generic answer, how long do you need to be sprinting two to three times a week in order to be seeing gains, right? Is that like two sprints? Is this 20 sprints? Like, is there any way to quantify that for me? You know, again, you truly are talking to a rookie in this area. Right. The biggest thing is this rest recovery, right? So if I'm going to – and, I, again, I'm a little different than most people, right? I've kind of already had this conversation with a whole bunch of other people, and it kind of threw a lot of people off. I don't sprint for yards. So when I tell you we do a 10-yard sprint, unless I'm timing it uh, in, you know, or filming it and timing it that way, and it, we, we run as hard as you can for two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, six seconds, whatever it may be. I never give our kids a yard marker. And people were blown away by that. They thought it was the craziest thing they ever heard, right? Because to me, it doesn't make any sense to sprint 10 yards. I mean, how many times in our game or in basketball do I do ever say just sprint 10 yards, right? We sprint for so many seconds. And we have to change direction. We have to do something else. So that's basically the whole groundwork to what we do. All right, well, you sprinted for three seconds. Our rest recovery time is going to be, I don't know, if it's earlier on, you know, five to ten times longer than what we ran. So if we ran for two seconds, we're going to rest for at least 30 seconds, right, up to 30 seconds. So 